So welcome back to the tutorial. So let's dig in now. We're going to go into the creating the code so that we can show this on the web page because as you can see right now, it doesn't show anything. So the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to select a template that we're going to create. So let's go ahead into our text editor and we're going to go into, uh, let me fix that so it fits properly, into our templates folder. If you don't have one, create it. Uh, you could create this in here, but I like to keep a separate folder as I did in my restaurant um, tutorial. So in create a file and we'll call this file, uh, let's see, let's call it full, oops, let's say full with .php. And the first thing we want to do is we want to put in our PHP tags. Okay, let's delete that, put some space, let's put these tags. Uh, and let's call it template name full width, and let's save that. And if we go back into our page here and refresh it, we now have this full width and we can select that and save it. And if we go to our web page, it goes completely blank because now we're using uh, our template file. And right now that template file is actually blank. So the first thing we want to do is we want our header and our footer to appear. So let's use this function called get header. Okay. And let's also go do get footer. And save that. And that should bring us something. And now we have our header and our footer. As you can see, headers right here, our footers right here. Now, um, the next thing we want to do is we want to start putting in some code. So let's get started with that. So the first thing we want to organize is we want to make this page uh, full width. We don't want it to be uh, constrained by any wrapper. So let's begin by adding an action. And uh, let's call this full width content. And let's say do oops, Put in a quotation do full with content. Okay. And then we have to add a filter because we are going to add a class to our body class. Add underscore filter. Uh, we're gonna call call on the body class. Body for class and close that comma and add full with body class class and let's just create the function you know what uh, let's copy this that way we don't make any typing errors. So put that in here. And then let's call a variable called classes. Classes. And basically let's call that again classes. And let's put an array equals full with template and if the classes has that then we return the classes so let's save that so we want to test that uh, this uh, our, our custom body class, the full with template body class is there. So let's save, this, refresh this. 
And if we check here under inspect and we go to body classes, you can see here that the page full with page template is there, the body class is there. So our body class is being recognized. You can see it here with page template, all this stuff here. But what we're specifically looking for is here, full width template. That's the class that we that we created. Where is it here? Right here. So it's been added to the classes. So now we would be able to uh, target that with our CSS here. So we would just add this line, full width template, and the site editor. We're going to make it full width also, and we put max width 100% and padding as uh, zero, and that'll make our page now. Uh, full width and the thing is that uh, we, we still want the ability to control some of the um, headers footer widgets and so forth uh, as to what size we want them to be so in order to have some kind of control we want to add theme support for structural wraps so this can easily be found on a number of websites uh, you just put it in add theme support for structural wraps and um, you just put in the ones you want. These are the ones that I want. Header, footer widgets, footer, nav, and sub nav. I want structural wraps for those. And uh, you, I just leave it like that. And uh, you're good to go. And let's just save that. So what we want to do now is um, create a function called do full with template. Okay, so let's do that. Shin. Oops do full with content for me uh, and this we're going to put all our content inside there okay and uh, let's see what else so up here we created an action called full with content and what we want to do is we want to tell it where to put that so we're going to do here as we want it to run in between the header and the footer. So we go do underscore action uh, full oops, with content. And then we close this off, save it. So let me just put this back. I removed it. So we want to call the full with content by a do action. So basically what we have so far is um, we're going to do the full with content and we're going to uh, function and everything that is inside here is going to appear on our web page. So let's save that. So we want to start to create uh, a, a, the main section. So we're going to put some tags here. I like to do this. That way later on when you want to find it, it's, it's much easier. You put a main section there. And actually what we need to do here is, is uh, close PHP. There's that main section. And then we want to put the main section again after our, our, um, our loop. So give me one second while I grab the loop. So let me paste that right here. And I go over this with you in just one second. And it, let's and PHP and then he, after this and if close this we want to close the main tag there we go so that's going to be our first section so let me just explain what this means this are just tags for our HTML so we can see where we are where we're at that holds our whole content and within it are we're going to have their different sections so what we're saying here is we're running an if statement we're saying if uh, we have row, rows called flexible content and while you have rows as long as they have rows in that under flexible contents get the and if the get row layout if do you have a layout in there called hero then display something so for just for a test we've put in a uh, a command to echo hello world if we have a hero uh, section which we do because we just created it in the previous tutorial so let's see if that's working let me close this here and refresh 
and we're getting an error. So let me see what that error is. So let's go in here. Oh, I get it. Uh, see here, it's all white, so that means I need to put PHP tags. That should do it. Let's see. There it is. So here we go, hello world, it's working, but there's something extra here. So let's get rid of that. Hello world, hello world. Let me just pause it while I get rid of that thing. So here it is. I got an extra little thing there. Let's get rid of that. And let's save that. And let's refresh it. So there, we're good to go. So now we can go in here, take this out, because this is where our code's gonna go, our loop, uh, I guess you can say. So if it has hero section, then we wanna put in a whole bunch of code to output um, our code basically. So what we wanna do is if it has a hero section, we wanna create a section. Oops, that's the trouble with autocomplete sometimes. Let's just do it old school way. Section, uh, I know what the problem is. Uh, give me one sec, we have to end PHP what it is let me just pause for a sec while I do a little correction so all I did is what I wrapped pretty much everything in PHP tags it's just gonna be a little easier to follow it's the same content as before uh, with the main tags and everything I just put PHP tags around everything it's gonna be easier to keep track of that way it gets to be a little bit confusing if you try if you try to do multi lines uh, you know with the, with the PHP trying to take this one out and uh, let it go over multiple lines. I find it for me anyway, it's easier to just wrap each one on the PHP tags. So let's get this and just to show you that it's working, uh, let's go back to our page, refresh, and you can see hello world, hello world. So let's get rid of this and let's get started. Okay, so we go in here. And so basically, if it has a hero section, we want it to output uh, a, uh, what you may call it, a section, okay? And inside that section is where we're gonna put our code. And the first thing we're gonna put in is a div with a class of, uh, pardon me, with a class of hero. And inside it, we're not gonna put anything we're just gonna leave it empty, but we do wanna do some inline styling to the background. So we're gonna go like this. Style equals, equals background image uh, URL. Uh, then we're gonna go PHP, oops, that's not gonna work. Okay, let's do it this way, the old fashioned way. PHP, the sub field, and then we put brackets, hero image. We're gonna end PHP and that's it. Let's check what we have so far and make sure everything's working. Okay, that's good. We don't see anything here yet because uh, we haven't styled it yet, but it's it, it should be there. We actually can check to make sure it's there. Let's, we probably should check that. Let's check the body. Let's check the div container, the inside inner. Then here's our main tags that we created right here. And there's the two sections that are being output because we have two hero sections. And you can see in the first section, there's the class. And if we click on it, you can see here, there's the thing. It's just, there's no CSS so that it shows properly yet. And if we go to our second section that's being output to click on that, you can see the coffee cup there. So everything is working properly. We just now need to go back and create some more of our, our HTML. So let's create our next div. 
Okay. And we're gonna call, give that a class of, oops, equals, let's say CTA underscore container. Okay. And then we're gonna create our next div. And we're going to give that a class of CTA content. Okay. And then we're going to create our next div. And we're going to give that a class CTA content. And then we're also going to call it wrap. Okay, and that's not bad so far. Let's see what we have so far. Make sure everything's working. Good. So we have that here. So I, I actually, at this point, before we go any further, I, th I think I wanna put some C CSS styling. So let's scroll here. And let's call it, oops. Let's go section one, hero section. And let's just do some quick CSS here. Hero. I'm just gonna copy in some uh, CSS actually, or else this is gonna take uh, way too long. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put all this in my web page and uh, so you can see it later. So let's go back to our web page, see what it looks like now. As you can see, our two um, sections are there. Our hero sections are there now. So um, we're running long on this uh, tutorial. It's already at 17 minutes. Let me see what's left to do here. Um, you know what, we're gonna stop here for this tutorial. We're gonna continue on our next tutorial. And what I'm gonna do next one because that's gonna take a little while to explain how to, uh, let me go back here, how to put the button here and the text to display is re relatively easy, but the button, it has to, there's a conditional logic that I have to put in. So let's pick up on the next tutorial and I'll show you how to do that. So I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and I'll check you out on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.